We will deal with the Fallen later. I fear more pressing matters must concern us now. May the Dark take Euraxia! She sent my own parents against us, and killed the brave and honorable Nalado! But we have no time to mourn. We must determine what the dragons seek at the ancient moon gate. Camera, Camera, those are your parents. I heard that Nalado had died, so I you. Are you sure? Do not presume to tell me how I should feel. I am the queen now, and I do not have the luxury or the time to grieve. Five Claw, those were not my parents. They were animated husks. Nothing more. And I will remember Nalado's sacrifice. After... After what? After we finish saving elsewhere from the dragons. You are still with me in this Five Claw. You and Abner Thorn both. We ended one threat, but two more remain. I will go on without you. But I would rather have you at my side for what is to come. I'm with you. They had to make some designs. The war is far from over. Even a queen needs to consult with such learned personages as Garish Ri and Abner Tarn every now and then. Take this in recognition of your efforts on our behalf, Five Claw. Then talk to Garish Ri. I need to think. This throne. For too long, a tyrant has sat upon it. But now... The man must recognize you as the heir of Anequina. But the people already cheer your name. Finally, this palace is a labyrinth. Did I miss anything? Zumog Foom has been collecting my original body parts. He tried to steal my essence and stick it back in my old noggin. I, th I, th I think he's trying to put me back together. Well, not me, the other me, the betrayer. Can you tell me anything about the betrayer? Must I? Oh, very well. Uh, my memories are rather muddled, but it seems that in life I was rather a distasteful chap. I was a knight, a champion. I helped people, mostly, but mostly I helped myself. Truth be told, I was a right and utter bastard. <laughs> Why did they call you the betrayer? I had uh, a friend, I think, another hero of the age, one of these lovely cat people, went by the name of Kunzai Ri. I helped him do something or other. Then, when he least expected it, I stabbed him in the back. Literally. Why would you do a thing? Why would you do a thing like that? That's another of those blank spaces in my memory. I, I have no idea why the vile person I used to be would commit such a dastardly deed. You know, once we find my head, we need to ask it about that. Right before we toss it into a roaring fire. Goodbye. A word, Five Claw. Of course. Amira's parents would be proud of how she has stepped forward in these dark times. Moons, I am proud of her. While Kamira gathers her thoughts, the rest of us have work to do. Tell me, what happened in the palace? They killed Alexia, but now her door died. And the dragons and necromancers are still working together. You bring news both welcome and grim. But we can neither celebrate a victory nor mourn the good captain until later, I fear. We need to determine why the dragons are willing to associate with wielders of dark magic. I heard that mention in Moon Gate, Southwest. And Kar Gr she's interested in the place. Would they be interested in the moon gate of Anequina? It lies in that direction. I wonder if this pertains to Euraxia's final order. A soldier mentioned it after we captured her, but she refused to elaborate. Maybe you can help Tharn find out more. 
I'll have only time to determine the significance of Alexia's final order. Even now, Abnor Tharn searches through the documents in the royal study, seeking information concerning this final order. Despite his show of indifference, Euraxia was his half-sister. Her death is bound to affect him. I suggest that you tread warily. You are worried about Abnathan? Worried? No. That would imply I had any feelings toward the man whatsoever. I'd say I'm more concerned that his nonchalant attitude toward his sister's death might be hiding his true emotions. I trust that he's here to help, but he's still a third. Goodbye. Queen Kamira went through a difficult trial just now, but she will be stronger because of it. Thank you for standing beside her, Five Claw. When you look at the world as lines on a map, it all seems so small and insignificant. I was trying to determine the meaning of this document, but so far the secret eludes me. I came to offer my help. You find anything about the Axios final order? I found a letter, but it's not complete. Looks like a scribe's dictation. I've been searching for more, but I haven't made much progress through the royal stacks. With your help, perhaps the search will go more quickly. Tell me about the dictated letter you found. It alludes to an order Euraxia was preparing to deliver shortly before our assault on the palace. It mentions a Captain S, the Cygnus Irregulars, and a favor for the dragons, but gives no indication as to who they are or what the favor might be. Eh, uh, but you have just there. We did what had to be done. Think no more about it. If you hadn't ended Euraxia, I certainly would have. Now. Look around and see if you can find anything pertaining to this unfinished letter. I'm sure it refers to Euraxia's final order. I'll see what I can find. This study contains documents from when the Khajiit ruled Rimen, as well as papers that cover the span of Euraxia's rule. So many, many papers. She was a prolific writer, I'll give her that. At least she didn't destroy her files before she died. Your Royal Majesty, the great squad of elite assassins is ready to perform whatever service you require. However, since my assassins are few in number, it would be important to provide us with the support in the form of auxiliary troops. If I may be so bold, I suggest granting me the authority to commandeer soldiers from the singles irregulars. I need to stop. The sense will matter. So the sense will matter anyway to collect Prefect Carlos reports in the last tracking card. Thanks. Any chance to stick a knife in the haunting period anyway appeals to me. You can send us my mercenaries to be inferior, inferior to his troops. And I hate him for that. Captain Salina. Salina. Captain Sorlinia. That must be Captain S. And the Cygnus Irregulars are Imperial troops under the command of Prefect Kalo at Sandswirl Manor. Ooh. 